Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Good Saturday evening to you all. Hope you guys are doing all right out there, having yourselves a great weekend uh, and an awesome evening. I got you an update this evening. We're going to break down the risk for heavy rain setting up between now and really this time uh, next weekend. So really over the next seven days is what we're going to talk about. There's going to be an active pattern, basically a stalled frontal boundary that's going to allow two to three, maybe four systems to fly across the same areas kind of delivering rounds of heavy rain uh, that can dump, dump several inches of rain over the next several days. So this is going to pose the potential for a flash flooding risk. So we're going to talk about that. I know a lot of people were probably thinking I was going to talk on uh, December and what we're expecting going forward. But guys, uh, looking over stuff over the last 48 to 72 hours, there has been so much flip-flopping with what we're expecting for the month of December. Uh, that it's really hard for me to talk about it. It really is because, I mean, <laughs> one model run you got this, the next you got that. The ensembles have stayed pretty consistent, but at the same time, uh, they're kind of delaying things. So I don't want to talk too much on something that we absolutely have no idea is going to happen. I was searching YouTube today just to kind of, uh, you know, see what people were doing as far as talking about this. And there was a lot of... Uh, just a, a lot of videos and just thumbnails that were just showing like Arctic blasts, several snowstorms coming up for December. Just remember, guys, and I know I've been saying this a lot in the last several videos, be careful on what you click on, really. And more importantly, be careful on what you as an individual believe. So I know a lot of times you, you click on these flashy thumbnails and they look awesome. And it's like, man, this, this looks like it's going to be a great video. But I can tell you right now, nothing is pointing to any significant snowstorm in the next uh, 7 to 10 days. Now, that could change a lot. But um, we're going to figure that out. So tomorrow evening, stay tuned. And I promise you guys, I won't go away from it. Tomorrow evening, we'll get a detailed video out on what I'm seeing. I promise you guys, I'll, I'd roll through the weekend and we'd really figure it out. But stay tuned for tomorrow evening. I'll give you the update, whether it's bad or good news, for whatever you prefer. We'll give it to you straightforward like we always do. But if you guys have not subscribed, certainly consider doing that. Like the video if you like it. And if you guys got anything that I can pray about or pray over, please put it in the comments below. It gives me an opportunity to pray over it, and it gives others an opportunity to do so too. So if you live in areas of the Mid-South, this video is for you or the Southeast in general because this is a good tweet back and forth. But Tennessee, Arkansas, Kentucky, northern areas of Mississippi, Alabama, maybe Georgia, um, this video is really for you. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. Um, you know, I want everybody to watch my stuff, and I know some people do regardless, but uh, Tennessee might be the epicenter for some heavy rain this week. And we'll see if this kind of develops into something much bigger, and it could. Uh, so what's going to happen here is moving forward, we got our first area of rain that could develop sometime Monday. Monday p.m., sometime afternoon, there's going to be an area of rain that begins to develop. It's going to fly over the Mid-South. All these states right in here, northern areas of the Deep South, the northern, uh, anytime I say northern areas of the Deep South, I'm normally talking about northern Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. Uh, and then the Mid-South would be this region right in here. So rain develops. Here comes rounds of heavy rain. This will de likely de uh, de <laughs> deliver uh, probably 24 hours worth of some moderate to heavy rain potentially for um, areas of the Mississippi Valley to Tennessee, Kentucky. This rain will also stretch into the northeast, and this will develop. Basically, there's going to be a stalled boundary that's going to kind of wiggle back and forth, but in, in a nutshell, it's not really going to move much. Therefore, a boundary is where these low pressures are going to ride. So this moves through, dumps heavy rain. Immediately after that, you got another system that develops. And uh, this brings heavy rain. We don't know exactly where the heaviest rain is going to be, but by Wednesday morning of this coming week, you got another area of rain. Now, this could deliver heavy rain for northern Arkansas, Kent, uh, you know, Kentucky, uh, western Tennessee, all of Tennessee, southern areas of Missouri, and then this flies over the region, and then, you know, even more rain showing up until Friday. And then we watch this system fly into the northeast, which we definitely need to watch this system because... Uh, there's some model runs that have showed some interesting development with it, but we, we have no idea what it's going to do. This was the same system that was showing a snowstorm in North Carolina about three or four days ago. So it tells you how wild these model runs are, but we are certainly getting getting well inside the medium range. So we need to watch to see if this becomes an impactful system um, off the coast of southern New England and the mid-Atlantic here. Um, it's kind of a weird pattern, guys, because you got a, got like a bulge 
in the jet stream here, kind of ridging. And then it's almost like a ridge of high pressure where you have a ridge rider. So this low pressure kind of flies up here, gets undercut underneath the ridge, and then finally finds an avenue and kind of gets shunted southeast, if you will. So it, it's kind of a weird. I mean, you normally don't see systems literally get pushed southeast um, off land, um, off the eastern shoreline. So it's wild. And if you were to keep this going, another system comes. This might deliver cold air behind it. But uh, there's no winter weather with this. Just two, three, maybe as much as four systems over the next seven to eight days. You look at the European for the same areas. This rain moves out that we've been dealing with this weekend. Here comes our first system. As we're getting into Monday afternoon and evening, a lot of rain. You know, this is starting to get into Monday late evening. All A lot of rain showing up from Arkansas all the way to Knoxville, Tennessee. And then all the way north into the Ohio Valley, all the way south, as far south as Birmingham, Montgomery, Alabama. So this area of rain will continue to move through. Uh, it's getting into Tuesday afternoon at this point. Even got rain into the Carolinas. And then we watch, and then another area of heavy rain, moderate, you know, I wouldn't say it's always going to be heavy rain, like it's going to be a downpour at all times. Not saying that, but another area of light, moderate, maybe at times heavy rain develops over Tennessee and uh, Kentucky, and then this keeps, and it's just becomes stationary. And then you, it looks like you get kind of a, a one to two day period where maybe this rain just trains over the same areas of northern, northern Arkansas into the Mississippi Valley, into Kentucky, Tennessee. And then just a lot of rain, and then we're getting into Thursday, uh, Wednesday evening, and here comes another system that flies through, delivers rain. So, and then maybe by the time we get into Friday, into Saturday, it calms down, but then maybe another system moves in. But is there any kind of severe weather with this? Well, we'll have to watch, that's for sure. So, what's going on with the pattern? And stick with me, we'll talk about accumulations here in a second, as far as how much rain is expected over the next seven days. Is uh, this ridge right here develops? This is troughing. Uh, the negative PNA setting up, which means you got a dump of cold air out to the west. So what's going to happen here is uh, kind of just a, a boundary is going to develop where you're going to have a gradient where it's going to be cold to the northwest and then above average to around average to the eastern U.S. So low pressures are going to fly between these two air masses for basically the jet stream setting up. Therefore, there's going to be a lot of moist and, and warmish air into this area. So no winter weather, just uh, rounds of heavy rain into this section right here as low pressures fly through here. And there'll be plenty of moisture to the south. And uh, this will be the case until... And, and here comes the system that gets undercut under the ridge. Very odd, quick-moving cutoff low that is just uh, trying to find itself. And it finally does, but there's so much big ridging up here. And this tries to just literally push it back off the eastern seaboard. And actually, just like I said, just kind of uh, pushes it back southeast. Pretty wild to see. But uh, two, uh, 250 millibars, which is on average right around where the jet stream sits. As you can tell, the storm track sets up right here where you got low pressures that fly up and down this area of this more intense and vibrant colors you see here. That is where our, dre our jet sets up so pieces of energy will keep flying past here so there'll be a lot of moist air and rain flying through this region right into here so that's going to be the pattern over the next seven days no big winter weather events we really weren't expecting this week to be this coming week to be a big weather event but uh to be winter weather really involved anywhere in the country in the central to eastern u.s is what i'm trying to say but as of right now the weather prediction center between now and of the morning of the 10th, which is next Saturday morning, maybe four and a half, five inches of rain in Nashville. Uh, Little Rock, maybe three to four inches of rain. And then the northern half of uh, Arkansas could certainly see four to five inches of rain. But, you know, these are the professionals. But then you look at some of the models. This is the GFS between now and literally right now, seven days from now. So between now and next Saturday evening, this is how much rain can fall in Tennessee. I mean, it is going to be a soaker. So the, the hope here is that this is just kind of widespread. It's kind of um, spread out between all these several days. You don't want to get three, four, five inches of rain within a couple hour period because that's when you get flash flooding. But you go from Little Rock to Memphis to Nashville to Knoxville, Chattanooga, maybe down to Atlanta, Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, we'll see how south or north this inches. Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, I mean, even to the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast, a lot of rain. This is the um, GFS, 
indicating four, five, six inches of rain, certainly possible. You look at the blend of all models, same time frame, and it really likes to put a lot or more rain on Arkansas. But you see these areas right into here, that is rain pushing six inches, a half a foot of rain. Between now and the next seven days, guys, it's a lot of rain. And not to ignore eastern Oklahoma, but there's a potential for a lot of rain for you guys too. It really just depends where the stalled boundary goes. It really does. Um, but I know we need rain down here in certain sections of the Panhandle of Florida. And it just looks like there's going to be a big gradient of hardly nothing. It's a lot of heavy rain to your north. You look at the European, and this is probably going to, yeah, I know it's going to do the 18Z. So we're going to go down 12Z, go out the same time frame. Um, well, let's stop it right here. Not as much rain on the Euro, and I can tell you it's a little bit further north, maybe, but I really think a lot of rain could potentially fall. The National Weather Service, um, right now, let's see if there's not. Nah, this only goes out, um, the National Weather Service only goes out to Tuesday evening, um, but shows a lot of rain for areas like Huntsville, Alabama to Nashville, even Atlanta. Several inches of rain, certainly possible, so... The excessive rainfall outlook, we go out to um, Monday, and as of just right now, there's a slight risk for flash flooding to occur. That is at least a 15% risk of flash flood guidance being met in this area just north of Birmingham and just south of Nashville. And uh, this includes uh, like Huntsville, Alabama, for example, the northwest corner of Georgia, and then the northern sections of Mississippi and Alabama. So... We'll see if this increases. We need to watch because this could develop into a bigger deal going forward. But like I said, guys, we'll get you an update tomorrow evening. Um, I'm kind of antsy just to figure out what's going on with December. I really am. Um, and I think a lot of me deep down is really hoping for something special. But the reality of it is I don't think we're going to have these all these comparisons you're seeing to 2010. Uh, nothing compares to 2010, guys, from my recent memory. It really doesn't. 2010... You know, what, what separated the month of December in 2010 was it wasn't just one week of cold weather. A negative NAO really established itself in November, probably a few days before Thanksgiving. And then fifteen day, 10 to 15 days later, which my idea is that's how much time after a negative NAO comes in that you need for the pattern to really actually change things in the lower 48. Uh, is the cold going to dump to the west, the central U.S., the eastern U.S.? But we just don't know, guys. We don't. You know, the thing about 2010 to December was you had so many minor events that led up to the big blockbuster events, the big Boxing Day blizzard into the northeast. And, you know, that was the same uh, system that, you know, put snow into the southeast, too. So we got a lot to figure out. I'm hoping I'm hoping for something. I'm hoping for a big topic to latch on to. But I can be honest with you guys. I'm not as excited about what I was seeing than I was maybe earlier this week. So um, <clears throat> the thing is, is we can't talk things to death. You know, we can't um, <sighs> get excited about one model run and then get upset about another, especially if it's one model to the next. So we need to be do this the right way and uh, try to figure it out for you guys. But we will. We will figure this out. Um, you guys have a great night. God bless all y'all, and I'll talk to y'all in the morning.